I was not happy with um, what I had as a parting lines of the uh, of mouse buttons. So here, um, here that is why I'm gonna change a bit. Uh, I'm creating some uh, reference curve that makes sense with the chamfer edge in between the middle and uh, lower area. And afterwards, I'm going to be creating uh, draft surfaces by using out of uh, this curve by using this curve. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of yeah placing the curve, and then I will be yeah uh, using. Uh, draft surface too. Yeah. Then I will I will intersect this surface with the main surfaces that I have, and from from going to front view I will be uh, changing the CV points of that curve to observe the intersection between between the two. You see you see curve on surface changes accordingly, and. Uh, I'm kind of uh, looking, looking, looking at it, kind of getting closer to the existing parting line as much as possible. Let's say not in a hundred percent, uh, in a true way, but as much as possible. Yeah, this is kind of this uh, surface intersection when it comes to the parting line creation is uh, is better way uh, rather than creating curves and projecting onto orthographic view because uh, you can easily manipulate the surfaces to capture the best parting line uh, but at this point i'm just creating one uh, one curve on surface out of this uh, this surface and the other ones will be uh, the curve on surfaces will remain same because we already done that in the previous video and the data that you had in the previous video uh, is the result of this part of this uh, video by the way yeah, it's like when I, when I feel okay with it, when I'm happy, I'm creating uh, the um, fillet between these two curve on surfaces by projecting uh, G2 uh, curve. But the thing is, it, it even though we align that curve to that to those curve on surfaces, it's kind of it kind of not creating the correct uh, touch point. So that uh, so I will uh, I am kind of uh, creating the curve again and projecting onto it. To capture the exact touch point of the fillet. It it always happens when it comes to curve on surfaces. Sometimes they sometimes software is not understanding where they are touching each other. So you gotta end up finding yourself helping the software by creating one line and projecting onto curve on surfaces and kind of recreating the touch point. Where you can detach your curve on surface. Yeah. Sometimes also extending back, extending back the curve on surface works as well, but sometimes it kind of get freaks out. So it depends. There are two ways. Yeah. It seems we are settled with the parting line, and in the in the next step we will be creating the scroll wheel. But the thing is. Um, I will only uh, be creating the cylinder at this point. I will I will leave the details because uh, and also I won't be sharing any reference data for this episode because this is relatively simple and I believe you can do this easily. Yeah, this is pretty much me trying to uh, rotate, scale, yeah, move a bit uh, to kind of place place the scroll wheel. Uh, as it is placed in the imagery but again i won't be doing any details on this one if you like to do it on your own uh, actually it would be best um yeah creating this kind of videos is already uh, harder than it's supposed to be so i'm just gonna leave that part to you guys just <laughs> sorry sorry i hope you don't mind and yeah just pretty much moving uh I'll move in along and yeah filleting the edges but it seems like it is thicker than it's supposed to be so we gotta kind of make it thinner than this and the mm, and the placement of the scroll wheel is kind of not looking good i gotta rotate it more <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, just about that. And this is kind of wider than it's supposed to be. So these uh, these movements are kind of yeah easy, easiest, easiest thing that you do in surface modeling. This is just a cylinder. That's all. Yeah. At this point, I'm feeling like it is too wide, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna um, make it thinner. Right now, I'm trying something and failing. Yeah, just I'm. It's better to delete the fillets and get back to the uh, original theoretical intersections of the cylinder by untrimming the surfaces. And let's look at orthographically and move those two rows uh, onto the other ones. And now it be it is it it got thinner. Yeah, and then fill it in it again. Yeah, some some move. I, it, it it took longer than I than I was thinking. It took longer than I than I was thinking. Yeah. Since those fillets have history behind you, you already seen. Uh, we when we move the um, surface, those fillets also uh, follow along. And uh, of course, picking whole uh, cylinder and intersecting with the uh, main surfaces that we have, so that we create curve on surfaces. And right now, I am tubular offsetting again, and uh, keeping the parts that I uh, wanted to keep to create this kind of fake placeholder gap between scroll wheel and the buttons. Yeah, yeah. It seems like we already created most important part of the mouse and um, let's kind of give it some shape some shade some material we have under the visualization menu we have shader library shader editor and shader lister i use these three guys uh, together attached together on my second screen and i i pull them in right now and in the in the library doesn't matter the material we're just gonna need some kind of graphical uh, graphical differentiation between the materials. Don't need to uh, pick the surfaces one by one. I ungroup this one example. I'm selecting surfaces. It is almost impossible. Instead, uh, before grouping, you go under the pick menu. You you go select chain tool and set it to G1 and uh, hit hit to the object and that's all. That will make you select the surfaces tangent together. Since we have parting line over there, you won't be selecting the any other surfaces unrelated. And picking the surface is kind of important thing we gotta we gotta group them before we uh, before we assign material um right now i'm gonna I, i'm picking the surfaces and ungrouping several times and picking objects uh, again ungrouping ungrouping several times and checking out the surface orientations always do that and then uh i'm picking it and then assigning to the other layer and then grouping right now we have those uh, those surfaces grouped together and they will be the uh, the sa same material i'm doing that to the uh, other components as well which is the same the, the other other ones are just the same relating the history and ungrouping them several times by picking surfaces first and then picking object second uh, do that several times ungrouping and then checking the orientation I'm getting uh, my tolerances uh, tight a little bit to show that these these um, kind of fuzzy uh, fuzzy tessellations is just because of the uh, settings. Right now we have we have divided our surfaces according to their materials and then layered them. Uh, we pretty much collected the. Um, parts together and I'm kind of deleting the ones that I don't need and then uh, we, we can ready to go to implement some materials yeah to assign the material I have already grouped them it's gonna be like I'm gonna be picking the group first and then right click and assign or there is this small 
yeah, small uh, icon as well. But I always use right click and assign shader button. And from the shader editor, you can you can change the um, settings of the material as well. At the moment, I'm kind of playing along with the some random some some random settings to be honest to kind of uh, replicate the imagery imagery behind the mouse. Yeah. Hey, this is too dark. So you can kind of play with those materials as well. Yeah. It seems like we came to an end for this for this part, guys. Um, I hope again yeah, you are um, keeping keeping up keeping up with me, and I hope you reach that uh, until this level. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this video is beneficial for you, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, because uh, it is really important to boost the work that I do here. And the yeah, next part will be the creating the patterns. And keep watching, we are almost there. And see you in the next one. Ciao.